Hey Facebook, happy Sunday. I am here to help you save your sanity, to give you some organizing hacks uh, to better your life. This is Janet from Basic Organization and I hope you're having a great weekend. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I started the topic of what to do with school papers. And we covered the idea of delegating the cleaning out the backpack to your children and getting each child a box that they can put everything that they want to clean out of their backpack into the box, saving it till the end of the semester or the end of the school year. And then you can go through and evaluate as a whole what you need to keep um, as memories for your child. You can do that with them or with them that's up to you so today I wanted to talk about the stuff that comes in from school that maybe you need to keep or you need to act on um, or the kids are really proud of and they want to share um, in their accomplishments so let's talk about that one first um, usually the younger child are it is the um, more stuff they bring home from school. So if you have a preschooler, they're bringing home a finger paint or a pasta necklace or whatever, and they're proud of everything they do. But this is a great time to start teaching them that things come into their life and are very important, but then they kind of lose their importance over time and other things come in that become more important. So my suggestion is Find some place in your home where you can honor the work they've done. And so they can hang it up and be proud and tell everybody in the, in the house about it. Um, it could be on your refrigerator, which we all used to do. Um, I have had clients put them, at, you know, a bulletin board or something in their child's room so the stuff could stay in there and it doesn't clutter up the whole house. I've also seen people who have uh, finished basements put them on like the back of the basement door or down the staircase um, into the basement if like your toy room is in the basement because then when the kids go down, they can see it quite often. That gives you like a whole gallery of space um, that if you want that much stuff, but then prioritize the item. So when they bring the next thing home and they want to hang it up, they have to decide what they're going to take down in order to have space to put the next new thing up. Um, and then those things they can take down uh, can go in their school box and they can be evaluated again at the end of the semester or the end of the year. But that gets them into the process of the decision making um, for, you know, what's most important to me. Um, so I think that's a great idea. Another thing to delegate to your kids to do. Um, but then things are going to come home that you are going to need to see. Then you need to have a designated spot that where your kids are going to sit there uh, permission slips down, the next, I don't know, a cafeteria um, menu, uh, whatever the paperwork is that you're going to need, that you're going to want to refer to. A lot of paperwork comes home at the beginning of the school year where it's teacher lists or if your kids play any kind of sports, there's a phone list, there's a schedule, there's all of that. So you need a place to collect all of this. It needs to be someplace that you can get this information um, at your fingertips whenever you need it. So I wouldn't suggest you filing it away with your rest of your home paperwork, um, you know, in a file cabinet in your home office. You need to have a spot in your kitchen or a mudroom or someplace like that where this paperwork can be kept. Maybe um, a little file box that sits on your kitchen counter or that's maybe put into a kitchen cabinet are always a good idea. Um, if those aren't gonna fit, you can always try some type of box that's gonna hold an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. The next thing you wanna do is write the child's name or label it with their name so that you can have all the specific paperwork for each child together. So when uh, Billy needs, you need to know a phone number for a classmate of Billy's, you can go right to his folder and find it. These folders are something you're gonna use fairly often, but then the paperwork is gonna become old fairly quickly. Again, when the when this soccer season is over, you might not need that paperwork anymore. Certainly at the end of the school year, you wanna clean out those folders because the class list will no longer be relevant and maybe rules about the classroom or whatever it is. Then um, for items like um, the cafeteria schedule, uh, the menu for the week or the month or however your school does it, that may be something that you refer to more often. That can sit in the front of the box 
that can sit on the counter, maybe in your uh, daily planner um, so that you can refer to it often. Another tip I used to do, and kind of all those important papers that you would want to look at, one I used to do is um, years ago, the school used to print out like a weather-related schedule so you knew that when you woke up in the morning and the weather was bad in the winter, you could refer to that, what to expect. Um, I would tape those type of things on the inside of a kitchen cabinet so you always knew where they were, they were easy to refer to, and then at the end of the school year, you took them down because you didn't need them anymore. So consider how you're doing in this first month or so um, of the school year and how you're managing the paperwork and how more easily you could manage the paperwork to save your sanity. So if you have any questions about this, please leave a comment. I would um, love to respond and give you some uh, extra tips that would work for you. And I hope this little um, organizing hack has done a little bit to save your sanity. Have a great Sunday. Thanks.